Hello everyone, what is cooking all you good looking people out there and welcome to another exciting episode of GeoGuessr. Here we are in yesterday's daily challenge location, a very nice spot. Uh, it's a river bed, I guess. Uh, the water level is low, maybe it's the tide, who knows. Yesterday I was talking all sorts of nonsense. There's a train bridge, beautiful river, nice sun. Oh, this is a great looking place. So, the real question is where in the world do I think we are? And, I don't really know, but I'm going to go with uh, Europe on this one, and I'm going to go with, like, an interesting area of Europe. Shall we go with, um, uh, let's go with, like, uh, one of these, one of these countries so over here. Uh, Croatia? Uh, is there, where, where, I need to find a river. Here's a river. All right. So, let's say we're, like, right around there. Make the guess, and the answer was, ah, I couldn't have been more wrong. We were in uh, Brazil, known for its rivers. I guess, actually, it is. Uh, right over here, Pirapora is the name of the city. Oh, well, there you go. 598, hopefully some of you guys figured that one out. All right, here we are in today's Daily Challenge location. Wow, take a look at this. Some sort of big fort castle-like structure. Very interesting. We've got a big old gate over here leading around some big walls, some lights to illuminate the place at night. This is really, really cool looking. And there's some sort of reception. Oh, look at that. Some, uh, maybe someone working security. Who knows, it's hard to tell. But beautiful, ye bright yellow painted wall, orange over here. Looks very nice. And it's today's daily challenge, meaning it's up to you guys to tell me where in the world you think we are. All you need to do is put the guesses down in the comment section below. Tell me where in the world you think this is, and in tomorrow's video's comment section, I announce the winner, the person that guesses closest. Now, there are no prizes, but there is glory to be won, so if you are interested in becoming the day's top geoguesser, then tell me, where in the world do you think we are right now? All right, here we are in the main section of today's video, and today we've got a viewer challenge, a viewer challenge brought to us by none other than our good friend, Kyoshade. That is right, Kyoshade. Thank you so much for this challenge. This one is all about uh, cool and unusual places and countries that we don't often visit. And there's a little bit of extra spice to the challenge. Kyoshade bets that I will not be able to uh, get a single location exactly right. So, you know, if I do 6,000, if you know, if I get 6,000 whatever points, that's pretty much right, essentially. Uh, so, there you go. I, mean, I'm not, I never really zoom in to try and get the exact street. But uh, if I get one of them exactly right, that's going to be uh, real good. I'm going to give it a shot. I probably won't succeed, but hey, you never know. Uh, and I guess if I've seen one of the pictures before, it, it doesn't it doesn't count as uh, the great success that uh, it could be. So thank you so much, Kyoshade, for this challenge. If you are interested in creating your own custom challenge, all you need to do is look down in the comment section, the, sorry, the description below, find a step-by-step -step guide on how to create your own custom challenge and how to send it to me. Also, you can find a link to this one so you can play along yourself. So let's get this underway. Challenge accepted. And the answer, ba-boom. Now, this is a flag that I know. This is a flag of the Philippines. And I know that because we saw a flag of the Philippines the other day, but we only saw the blue and the red. And I was thinking it was, I, I said, oh, you know, this is uh, Cambodia, because I forgot what the Cambodian flag looks like, which looks like the Thai flag, minus the white, oh, geez, I forget, there's a, there's a big castle in it, okay, that's how you tell the Cambodian flag from the Thai flag, there's a big, there's a big castle in it, so, or temple, sorry, not castle, uh, temple, so that's how you tell the Cambodian flag apart from the Thai flag. They're, and they're not even that similar, to be honest. Uh, but this one over here, uh, you know, there's a big star or sun and other stars. It, look, I mean, you could just tell what that is. So that's the flag of the Philippines, which is nice. And we are in some kind of big fort type location. It was a cool and unusual place. But the real question is, where is this? Now, I know that there's some kind of place kind of like this in is it in i think it's in manila but i don't know if this is it hmm we gotta get oh, okay look at this we're on the water well, we're on the water we've got this stuff over here so i believe that okay manila if we go there and we see this river over here I think it's Fort Santiago. That's it. We've been to Fort Santiago before. 
I don't know if we've seen these pictures specifically, uh, but we have been to Fort Santiago before. At least I think we have. Or have we been to some other place? No, we've... Uh, Rizal Park? Is that where we were before? I forget. Maybe we've been to Fort Santiago before. But if that is indeed it, I don't know if this, this counts as the, the, the great one. So yes, it was indeed correct. But I don't know if that really counts as getting it spot on, considering we have been there before. But hey, it's the flag of the Philippines. I probably would have gotten at least quite close. 64-73. Alright. Now I've got less of a clue. Big black rocks. Wow, these rocks are beautiful. Check those out. That is wonderful. Alright. So, other than that, I don't really have much of a clue. I'm going to... I'm going to... Imagine that this country is in Asia. I'm going to... Well, Philippines... Oh, yeah, we were just there. Is it like uh, is it like the gambler's fallacy that I'm thinking? That it, it, we can't be two times in a row or something like that? Is that the gambler's fallacy? Whatever. Uh, or is it the opposite? Thinking like the dice are hot or whatever. No, I think the gambler's fallacy is the one where like... Oh, it's already happened, so it's less likely to happen again, or something like that. Like, it's been stricken off a list. So anyways, that's why I'm thinking, because I'm thinking we're, like, around here somewhere. Maybe around here. Maybe, well, I mean, we could be in Taiwan. We're not there too often, honestly. Where is the water? The water is directly south. We're not in Vietnam too often, actually. That's true. We are not in Vietnam too often. What would these black rocks come from? I don't know. They could be all around here, to be honest. Yeah, we're not in Vietnam too often at all. So, yeah, why don't we go with that? Pretty much south. So that would place us maybe somewhere like around right there. Make the guess. And the answer was no. Something completely different. Uh, Liberia was the answer. And uh, Monrovia. We were right near Monrovia. Golden Beach. Wow, beautiful. Those black rocks were very, very cool. 192. So I didn't get that one at all. Uh, this one. We got a flag. So that's great. And it appears to be a Norwegian flag, I believe. Right? Is that a Norwegian banner type thing? Uh, I don't know. Doesn't... No, it doesn't have a cross on it. Does it? Am I just missing the cross? Huh. That might raise more questions than it answers. Does the Norwegian one not have a cross on the banner? I thought it did still on the banner, like uh, two-thirds the way down, like right here. There would be a cross. But I can't see it. Huh. That makes things confusing. By the looks of it, Norway doesn't seem out of the question. Uh, mostly considering the fact that we've got non-EU license plates. We are, you know, Norway LBS. Well, that could mean like a million things. Um, and it's not in English, so it doesn't, you know, what am I going to get out of that? <sighs> but other than us being in Norway, I don't know where we could possibly be. Did that banner just disappear? Oh, jeez. Okay. Well, everyone's got it. Everyone's got the banner, but it doesn't have the cross on it, which maybe I'm crazy. Maybe it doesn't normally have it, but I really did believe it, it did. Okay, so that being said, where are we? Well, I don't believe we're in Svalbard, because that I don't think that's what this is. There's trees. Clue number one. Clue number two. I don't know if there's a second clue. But there you go, Norwegian Sea. Uh, that's Faroe Islands. Look at the names of these places. Yeah, S-O with a cross through it. Faroe Islands is where we are then. Okay, yeah. I, I'm going to go, I think we're in the, the Faroe Islands. That seems to make sense to me. All right, Faroe Islands, Norway. Oh, boy, but this is going to be tricky. So, to try and figure out where exactly we are. We've got to see that we're we're looking kind of east. Uh jeez. Okay, so we just left like a big city type place. 
Uh, we could be literally anywhere. We could be around there, but I think we're going to be a little bit bigger one. So let's zoom out. So those are the big cities. Uh, we're not in that one. That one is a definite possibility. Uh, okay, we're facing... No, uh, okay, the water is facing... I don't know where the open water is going to be. The open water seems to be east of us. Which sort of brings more questions than it answers. What about this area up here? Uh, no, that's still not it. What about... What about this city right here? Hmm. Do we have anything? All right, let's return to start location. Maybe we can actually see the name of the city on something. This is pretty big. Should I go? You know what? I'm just going to say we're right over here. I'm going to say that's where we are. Like right there. Make the guess and the answer was no. Nothing, not something crazy like the Faroe Islands. It was just a, a small island of Norway. Strand. 2166. Okay. Wow, look at that. That's a cool looking cactus. Jeez. Look at these things. Wow, these are pretty awesome, I've got to say. What are we even looking at? Uh, eh, wow, jeez. What a weird place. Oh, this is like that magical area in Bolivia, isn't it? I think it is, right? It's that magical, dry, desert-type area right over here somewhere. Yeah, this is this is this thing. Uh, let's go with, like, right around... Let's go with that. Or... Yeah, sure. Right around that, this square. I think that's where, that's where this sort of weird stuff is. Look at this. There's, like, a small layer of water and everything's super reflective. God, this place looks so weird. So cool, too. Wow, what an awesome place. The answer is, well, no, I didn't exactly guess it. It's actually over here. And there's, you know, not much to really go on there. 2893. And then finally, finally, we were... Jeez. Hmm. I can tell you right now, I'm not going to guess this one. This one's not going to work. So we've got a lot of people... And they are... Maybe this is Svalbard. No, I doubt it's Svalbard for a few reasons. I doubt it's Svalbard because... I doubt it's Svalbard. I don't know why I doubt it's Svalbard. We could be in Svalbard. We were, we were just in Norway. But where else could we be? Greenland? Yeah, I guess so. That makes a little bit more sense. But we're in Canada, we're there all the time. America, we're there all the time. Russia, we're there all the time. The fact that this snow extends so far is the thing. I don't know how high we are. I feel like this might be water, so I don't think we're that high up. Unless we're really far south. Okay. We're really far south. Where are we? People, people aren't wearing... No. People are not wearing red jackets. So we're not that far south. Because if everyone was wearing those jackets, we would be far south. So Svalbard or Greenland? Which one do we go with? We go with Svalbard. Uh, and where? Specifically? Nye Alessand. Yes. And the answer was no. About as far as you could possibly get away from uh, that. We were down... Oh, we were in McMurdo. Oh, come on. That... that it you know, you got to wear your red winter jackets if you're going to be in on uh, Antarctica. And unfortunately, they didn't. Well, there you go. 14 points. That's terrible. So, got one of them bang on. One of them, I, I kind of knew where it was, but I knew exactly where it was, but I didn't know where that exactly was. Uh, then, right country, wrong idea. I, Faroe Islands is part of Norway, right? I hope it is. Uh, well, I don't really hope it is, but I think it is. Uh, then, uh, totally wrong. And then, even wronger. Jeez Louise. Was a difficult challenge. And I guess I didn't get any exactly right. I was kind of on two of them. And we had seen one of the places before. But I would have gotten, regardless, even if I hadn't 
known that that place was a place in uh, Manila, we would have gotten three of them pretty darn, on the right track at least. So I'm going to say that I hope you guys have enjoyed, and as always, I'll see you guys next time. Aw oh, yeah. Cue the royalty free music. Three, two, one, go. Come on everybody, get on your feet. Stand up, look at the screen and repeat. I'm gonna like, rate, comment, and subscribe. I love watching Aether vids all of the time. Thanks for dropping by and spending the time. Hope you've enjoyed and let's get on with our lives. Oh yeah. Thanks to Kevin McLeod for these awesome beats. Ooh yeah. Have a good one. Bye.